New tonight, Barbara Barrett is an Arizona businesswoman, a former ambassador, and the patron of the Honors College right here at ASU. And now she's in line to be the next secretary of the Air Force. That nomination was the subject of a Senate Armed Services Committee confirmation hearing in Washington today. Cronkite News reporter Heather Cumberledge spoke with Barrett after the hearing and has a report from our Washington Bureau. Heather? Barbara Barrett may be in line to be the next Secretary of the Air Force, but her confirmation hearing today was about more than just fighter jets and bombers. Topics range from everything to outer space to the border wall. A big part of Barrett's opening statement to the Senate Armed Services Committee focused on the need for a Space Force. If confirmed, standing up a Space Force would be a key imperative. I believe we need a Space Force. In fact, in my opinion, a domain-specific service to organize, train, and equip Space Forces is overdue. Barrett was introduced by Arizona Senator Martha McSally, who praised her qualifications in academia, in business, and in diplomacy as the former U.S. Ambassador to Finland. Uh, it's a great pride that I sit before you this morning to introduce fellow Arizonan and my personal friend, Ambassador Barbara Barrett, as a nominee to be the next Secretary of Air Force. Most senators appear to agree with the assessment. With little by way of hardball questions, the toughest exchanges came over how Barrett would respond to the Trump administration's decision to divert $3.6 billion from defense projects to the border wall. So if confirmed, what would you do to prevent the president from continuing to do this, continue to raid military funds? Barrett would only say she would work with lawmakers while following the law. More of the lawmakers, like McSally, asked about getting commitments for home state projects. I want to ask if I can continue to have your commitment to uh, assess that and see how that maybe could be used at other bases, because it really is an amazing initiative. Absolutely, Tim. All right, great. We'll show you that firsthand uh, when you come out to Luke. Most senators said they look forward to working with Barrett, a move McSally supports. These positions make a phenomenal choice in the military service branch, but her unique experiences are what make her the best choice to lead our Air Force at this important time in history. Barrett said she looks forward to it as well. And I'm proud to have the privilege of serving in uh, the government in recent past, and it would be a great privilege to serve again. No vote has been scheduled yet on the nomination. When I asked Barrett about it, she said she would only say she looks forward to the results of the vote. If confirmed, she would be the fourth woman to serve as Air Force Secretary. In Washington, for Cronkite News, Heather Cumberledge.